Hi, Virgie Bird. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Virgo. Place this in your chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave it in the fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all for the love, the support, the donations. Sending you peace, love, happiness, joy, and light on your journey. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platform, Virgo. So let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Let's see, Virgo. What's going on for my Virgo spirit? Lost, ghosted, blocked, cut off. Racing, running, and avoiding. That's in reverse. Then we got renew. Early stages of union. Hmm. Journal. Writing, diary, and keeping notes. Bottom of the deck is failure to launch. Couldn't get things going. Scarred. Lack of self-esteem due to upbringing. Hmm. Embrace, craving your physical touch and purse. Clings on to you but doesn't want to open up. So, hey boy. <clears throat> so, Virgo, I feel like there's like two energies here, to be honest. One of them, they things couldn't get off the ground between you and this person because of their upbringing. Like how they was raised and... Maybe, I mean, everybody probably was, has been raised differently, yeah. But I feel like it's this person here maybe needed to switch some things around and heal from some things. And maybe they have not. So I feel like you cut them off. Or they could have been ghosting and blocking you and all of that. So you cut them off because of this. Which is a valid reason. Right? <clears throat> yeah, it's on the swords. Um... There's something in your energy, though, that you can't run away from you in particular. Or this is then. Let's just see, though. Yeah, three of swords, ten of swords. That's 13. That's a death card. Something is definitely over. Let's just see what this is. <clears throat> What's lost? Three of swords in reverse. Libra Saturn. What's lost here? Queen of Wands, Aries. Mm. Aries again with the Emperor. So, <clears throat> some of you guys have really, um, you're really standing in your power right now and doing the things that you really enjoy doing. Um, you could be looking really, really good too. Somebody finds you to be very attractive, or this is how you feel about your damn self. Um,. Okay, I'm also getting, for some of you, there's like a third party here. Somebody's going to have to sit and deal with this third party. This person here, for some of you, somebody ghosted and blocked and cut you off for a third party that is kind of like bitter and kind of, I'm getting like controlling, very demanding possibly. They could be very chaotic. Okay, even with the Queen of Wands upright, they could be drama filled. It just depends. But this person here could be holding on to resentment, pain, grudges, things that they haven't healed from. And this is who they cut you off for. They cut you off for somebody. And I feel like it's because they're still holding on to hurt. They Maybe they, I mean, they still want to make it work with them or something like that. Let's see. What, what's law? I mean, what's the three of swords in reverse? This could talk about too. Um, this could be you healing though. I feel like, yeah, the sun, you could be healing um restoring your faith in like relationships or just in yourself just picking yourself back up because this could be you having a reconciliation within yourself okay but i feel like somebody here does want to reconcile with you let's see what's three of swords in reverse <laughs> okay yeah will of fortune three of swords in reverse with the will of fortune three of swords in reverse with the will of fortune yeah <clears throat> five of pentacles towards mercury
Yeah, so I feel like you're healing. Okay, Virgo, I feel like you're getting over something. You're um recovering from some sort of heartbreak or pain. Like you're really in your power now. <clears throat> um, for some of you, like I said, though, I'm getting this energy where because somebody has made a decision based off of some sort of trauma and pain and whatever it is that they're holding on to, they kind of like ruin something between y'all. The shit is turning now. Will of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles, somebody is having to be left out in the cold. Like there's really no choice here. I mean, you have choices, obviously, but a choice has already been made. Somebody cut you off or ghosted you <clears throat> because like they have some sort of abandonment issue that they have not healed from or whatever this is. It's something like that. But they definitely left you out in the cold. Though. I feel like you had to leave this person out in the cold in order to keep going towards your purpose in life. You had to leave this person out in the cold here. You know? What's the Queen of Wands? I feel like you have um good karma coming in. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. Cancer moves, queen of wands, four of cups in reverse. Three of wands. Yeah, Aries, that's growth expansion. Some of you guys have relocated, you moved. Good morning, honey. Cancer mode, yeah. Yeah, when I'm done this reading. Go out there and get, go out there and get it. Go look in the thing. Um... Yeah, so this, this Four of Cups in Reverse is you seizing opportunities here. You taking your power back, taking control over your life, um, being confident and self-assured about your decision to like move forward, period. This Four of Cups is you not being stuck anymore. <clears throat> no more stalemates, no more nothing. You're moving forward. Yeah, you guys could be traveling, moving, but I feel like you're just you just feel more empowered, more confident, which is really good here. You know, so, oh, well, let's see. What's racing in reverse, running and avoiding? Yeah, the full new beginning, Aquarius. What's running and avoiding the full two of swords? <laughs> um, Libra moon. Yeah, it's something here that somebody, they can't be emperor with the Ace of Wands. Six of Cups. Mm. There's something that somebody can't um, avoid. You know what I'm saying? Or not deal with anymore. There's a new beginning that's coming in your life, Virgo, where I feel like maybe you were avoiding dealing with something. Or this could be, you know, your person. I don't know. But there's there's no running away from it. I think I got this for your last reading or the reading before last. There, there's no running away from this, whatever this is. Uh, could be a decision that you're going to have to make or this could be you struggling like with vulnerability or um, you could have issues with anxiety, overthinking. Let, let's see though, what's this two of swords? This could be just a very tough or overwhelming decision, but I, I don't know. Somebody could have had you in some sort of stalemate. What's the two of swords? Yeah, the lovers. <laughs> Gemini, what's the two of swords with the lovers? This Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands came out. It just want to come back out, so I'm going to leave it out. Capricorn here with the, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's something that somebody, I mean, they, they ran and avoided you so much that they didn't ran right into an issue here. I feel like... <clears throat> Okay, on one, one situation, I feel like there is a, um, there's somebody from your past that you ghosted, blocked, and cut off. This person is stuck with a karmic. They're at a stalemate because they're stuck there with a karmic. Like, they, they can't, they now, they, wherever they were trying to run to or wherever they could, they feel like they could run to, I feel like they ran to you and they got tired of this person. They, they're not able to do that no more. It's like they're going to have to stay stuck there and deal with the burden and the and the, the stress of this connection. Somebody could be draining somebody sexually, too. It's just like in order to keep this person's life intact and in order, 
And in order to keep them financially stable, secure this person, they, they, they're a succubus. I'm getting like a succubus or like an incubus energy. They're going to have to stay stuck there. Just period. They left you on hold here. I feel like somebody just left you at a stalemate. And so now I feel like you're freeing yourself because you're just done dealing with it. You're not going to be a second option or none of that. So there's a decision that you might have to make though, Virgo, coming up or you're making it right now about a connection that's coming in and, and this past connection. Okay, I don't, you know, everybody's on different timelines, but um, there could be a new connection coming in your life, like a soulmate connection. Um, This could be even a kindred spirit. I don't know. But there's a connection for some of you that's, that's going to come in that you just can't avoid. Like, it's something that you're just not going to be able to avoid. This could be y'all, like I said, you can struggle with your vulnerability, like, Something about showing compassion and love and blah, blah, blah. Because I feel like for some of you, you feel like in a lot of your connections, you've overextended or given too much of yourself. Or you, for some of you, you were always looking for, um, like you always wanted love. But I feel like maybe you had to, you feel like that maybe you had to give more in order to get it. So this could be abandonment wounds, abandonment issues, like things like that could be coming up. You're not going to be able to avoid it. I mean, you are, but I don't really see you running away from it. Okay. I see that. Mm -hmm. You're just going to have to keep yourself grounded. This Queen of Pentacles has been coming off for like two readings so far. Something about you grounding your energy is important. Everybody. Needs to be grounding right now. I feel like you're going to be confused about something, though. What's the full? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, what's the full Eight of Wands? Yeah, it's in the Pentacles in reverse. That's like instability, security. I mean, in, uh, yeah, insecurities. It could be. Yeah, I feel like you've broken free of some sort of dysfunctional family dynamic or this is a divorce of a, um, something here is just dysfunctional, just period. What's the, let me see, what's this, what's this 10 of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like Virgo, um, okay, yeah. Page of Pentacles. So there's something coming in for you, Virgo, where I feel like this, I, I don't know, it's something, there's going to be like a strong connection, but I feel like it's going to start off small. This part, I keep getting that. People are stepping into new situations where there's transitions going on in both of y'all's lives, to be honest. You and somebody new that you're going to get with, this person is going to be transitioning too. Okay. And so, so are you. And I feel like you already left a past situation, like you're healing from that or you're trying to anyways. Whatever this new beginning is, it's going to take, a, you're going to have to take a big leap of faith. Page of Pentacles is like studying, learning something. Um... Somebody here, though, they gave their offer to a family member or to an ex. 14, 14 on the timer. And that shit turned sour real quick. Somebody thought that they could build something with somebody else. That shit didn't work. Now they have to live with those consequences. I feel like you're just freeing yourself from that shit, just period. Your heart is closed off to this person from the past. You don't want shit to do with this person. You're just tired of carrying the bulk of the load of the relationship. Like, you're just over it. What? What's this Eight of Wands? What's the Eight of Wands? Somebody here. Yeah, the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're slowly getting over something. Six of Swords in reverse is like slowly progressing, slowly healing. 
uh, slowly recovering from something here. <laughs> Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Someone could have an Aquarius Mercury. I keep getting so much energy right here. I don't know what all this is. But um, I feel like there's an energy where somebody here faked their wealth. They, they really didn't have what they said that they had. <laughs> okay, like they're having to deal with that shit. And that's what the fuck they get for doing this. Like, for even coming towards you with the bullshit. But that Six of Swords in reverse is definitely... That could mean... That could even mean trouble headed your way. Like, but I feel like with, with the Eight of... Clarifying the Eight of Wands here. I mean, the Six of Swords in reverse clarifying the Eight of Wands. That's like um you moving in a positive direction. It's just slow. Something is moving forward very slowly. I feel like it's because for some of you, I'm getting that's a past situation, but you're there could be a something else new that's in your life or something else that you're dealing with on the side. I don't know, but it's similar to the past. You're trying to get it off the ground, but it's it's hard because of the circumstances. But it's also triggering something within you. It's some sort of inner work that you're doing. I just feel like there's a lot of testing people's strength here. That's what's going on in a lot of these readings. Like, I feel like you're getting prepared to really know what a real relationship feels like because there is ups and downs. <laughs> just period. Anybody that say or they make it seem like their relationship is so grand, it's fucking not. Period. In order for something to be built on a solid foundation, something has to be over with. And something that somebody ain't going to be able to run away from or avoid, whatever it is. And this could be you internally dealing with something or it could be external, but whatever it is, it's unavoidable. What's this renew? Early 17, 17 on the timer. What's renew? Early stages of union. Eight of swords. What's renew with the early stages of union with the eight of swords? The star, yeah. <laughs> I keep getting that. People's faith is, is had, they're having, you're being tested. I, I just feel like, I feel like you're just observing, especially with journal here, or you're needing to journal out your feelings right now. All right. Cause, or just, you know, watch, keep watching your surroundings and what, you know, the people that you're dealing with, what you're going through here, whether this be a relationship or whatever. Um, This age of swords is like some sort of negative, mindset or you feeling stuck trapped or just this could be fear this could be fear so you're needing to really um you're in like early stages of union either within yourself or you're dealing with somebody that's in the early stage of union within themselves okay so they're not having a certain part of themselves that's heal could be triggering something within you it's going to take whatever this is it's it's a domino effect. You're not going to be able to avoid it. I feel like you could kind of like be trying to though because the situation is not really... It's, uh, <sighs> you would... I'm not going to say you would rather not have to deal... I mean, yeah, you probably would rather not have to deal with whatever this is. It's something that's going to take have to take like a big risk. And maybe you just feel like it's too damn risky. But... Mm-hmm. You're working through the challenges, though, I feel. It's just your faith. It's something about your faith. With the star, that's like, um, this is you trying to stay optimistic or, be, you know, be positive. What's the eight of swords? Something here, definitely somebody has bad anxiety or something like that. Or some, somebody has a negative trait, a negative mindset. What's the eight of swords? Yeah. Ten of Cups. What's the Eight of Swords? Ten of Cups. The High Priestess. Pisces here. Someone can have a Pisces Mars. So, um, for some of you, I don't know. You could be pregnant. <laughs> okay. Be careful. Um, but 
with the high priestess, there's this inner feeling that you have. This is a, a battle between your intuition and your ego. That's what I feel. Somebody, something, there's something here where you feel like there is a Ten of Cups situation for you. This is your soulmate. I do feel like that energy is here. They're just not really showing up all the way. Because I feel like the focus needs to be on you and you being grounded and stable right now. But the High Priestess with the Ace of Cups, I mean, with the Ten of Cups, I meant, this Ten of Cups talks about happily ever after, a happy marriage, family, starting a family. Um, like I said, there's a lot of fertility here. So something has the potential to grow. It's just your mind is playing tricks on you. I don't know what. I feel like it's just because it's something from the past. You know, if you were ghosted, blocked, and cut off by somebody that here that you really wanted to be with, you're now maneuvering out of that situation and going into another one. And it's like, it's either it's similar or it's just scaring the fuck out of you. <laughs> like, that's all I can say. You guys be saying 10-10. It's scaring you. Like, yeah. Some of y'all could be having mood swings. Okay, if you're pregnant, this could be your mood and shit switching and being all over the place. But what's the star? I feel like the star. Okay, the strength card. What's the star? The five of wands. What's the star with the five of wands? Six of cups. Yeah. The moon, the magician, the nine of swords, the emperor, five of swords. Six of cups, Scorpio, Leo, Saturn with the five of wands. So, um, <laughs> for some of you, you're dealing with a situation with somebody where they're fighting with their child's mother or father of their kids. Okay, it's something about this situation, Virgo. I keep getting that's just not too ideal. Like, you really don't... It's really throwing you off, okay? <clears throat> it's something that's really throwing you the fuck off. I feel it. It's just not coming out too clear in the reading. So, it's hard for me to, like, really explain. But I can only explain what I feel intuitively. There's something, too, in regards to... Somebody is... You're still healing with the star and the five of wands, six of cups. You're healing some sort of childhood trauma or this is this person that's healing it within themselves so it's causing a bit of a rift like inner inner the inner battle and it could be external too you and this person could be fighting or arguing or something like that because of the triggers you're just being triggered right now this is what it's what it's giving because you're like i mean you're in the early stages right now building something it says early stages of union you're in a renewal period yeah the star talks about renewal so there could be some fighting and shit going on here. Some of y'all are healing from a situation that's like this. You were dealing with somebody to put you in competition with their baby mama or baby daddy or whatever the fuck it is. So now, I don't know. Yeah. So you just need to take your time. The star talks about a, a a good omen, though, a shift in like the energy is something is going to turn off for the for good. Like it's going to be good. OK, I feel like your faith just needs to be stronger than whatever this is going on with your head. I mean, you need to get rid of that completely because <laughs> it's just it's mm, it's just throwing things. I feel like there's just insecurities for a source the moon. I really don't feel like it's nothing bad here, especially with a situation that you're in. I just feel like it's a lot of inner child healing that you're needing to do or this person. So it's triggering you. And then you have somebody from your past that you've already moved on from. And that's triggering you too. So mm. it's like an inner battle. What's what's journal? Writing diary, keeping notes. the emperor yeah you could be watching this person close because you i feel like it's because you your trust like you could be having trust issues child what's the journal with the emperor aries or oh, that's you yeah the moon <laughs> the moon cancer pisces 
Yeah, there's like, I don't know, insecurities here. Or this person could be very like secretive. It's like it's throwing you off. Yeah, the death card, the tower. That's what's happening to somebody. Somebody is going through a major shift. The tower and the death card, something is just falling apart to be rebuilt again in somebody's life, either in this person's life or yours. So it's bringing about a lot of fear. Okay, like, what, what's the emperor? Somebody here could be a writer or journalist, publisher, knight of wands. They could have Sag and HR. What's the emperor with the knight of wands? The empress. I felt it, child. I, I felt it. I ain't gonna lie. I really did. I felt that, that there was a connection here between you and somebody. You and somebody. What's this Knight of Wands right here? Page of Wands. Yeah. <sighs> you and this person probably just need to go out, have some fun. You and this person, y'all could also have a very strong sexual bond, like chemistry too. That not this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands here. I don't really get his player energy. I get that it's more so. This could indicate travel. Some of y'all need to travel and go out to do something fun to keep the relationship spicy or something. I don't know. But I just feel like there's fear here because y'all are counterparts. First of all, they're going to trigger you in that sense. They really are. Somebody could be hiding a family dynamic. They're, they're stuck in some sort of family dynamic. And I feel like you know about it. That's on another note. That's going to be somebody from your past. But um, <clears throat> this could be you needing to just balance your masculine and feminine energy too. Some of y'all really need to go out and enjoy yourself. But I'm more so getting with this Knight of Wands, this person. I don't feel like they're a player. Whoever this is, they feel quite new. But, you know, let me know in the comments, show. This person is moving around a lot like there, there's some sort of inconsistency here with it could be just their lifestyle or where they're at in their life i don't know i don't know what it is that's throwing you off that knight of wands talks about feeling fearless confident the knight of wands is warm-hearted they're usually yeah somebody that takes risk the the them when the knight of wands takes a risk they usually get their way too so like i said there's a situation that requires risk it brings like i said it, it really feels like honestly you like the situation or you like this person i'm not gonna say the situation i take that back because clearly you don't that's why you're like contemplating should i leave or should i go but you really like this person there's a very strong desire for them it's because they're your counterpart like that's your person so you feel that um that drive that ambition that get up and go energy that excitement that euphoria <laughs> like you feel that you should push through with it and to be honest i feel like you should i honestly do it's just you just have to ground your energy and really don't overextend your i keep i didn't told who i told that pisces gemini don't overextend yourself you know what I'm saying? Just don't. Still enjoy your time by yourself. Still have fun. Don't lose yourself in the midst of what somebody else's, I mean, in somebody else's shit, period. I feel like this person, they just came into your life very, they could be very nice looking, this person. Very adventurous. Somebody, I'm hearing something very sexual here. Somebody got hella stamina. <laughs> like, I don't know what this is, Virgo. I really don't. And then for some of you, somebody else is playing around in your energy too. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Somebody, what's the moon? What's the moon? I'm hearing both of y'all. The Tower and the King of Swords. I don't like how they came out.
I'll leave it out though. So let me see. Aries here. We got Aquarius. What's the King of Swords? This person, they're going to, whoever this is. Okay, yeah, the judgment. What's King of Swords judgment? Hmm. What's King of Swords judgment? The justice. Ooh, karma. <laughs> Karma, karma. For some of you, this is somebody else in your energy going through this karmic situation where they can't run and avoid something anymore. They're going to have to get their shit together. They could be a past person that you probably have moved on from. You, I'm not going to say you don't give a fuck about them, but they just, y'all on two separate pages. Okay, that's already been established. For others of you, this is this person. They're really head over heart. They're analytical right now. They could be going through some court situations. Okay, I feel like they're being, their leadership skills are being tested really and how they handle you in the situation to see if they're even worthy of your time your energy your trust anything and, and you know vice versa but i feel like you know um they're being watched really closely or this is you <laughs> this is you there's definitely something going on in the ethers with the something spiritual going on in um spiritual court spiritual law be dealing with the libra scorpio aries leo sag aquarius taurus pisces could be any damn body gemini this energy is so all over the place it's so fucking scattered somebody here could be getting karma for lying to you i feel like there's there's somebody from your past that's intertwining with their they're mixing in with whoever this is you're trying to deal with you know what i'm saying or you're you're dealing with currently but if this is a new masculine in your life here, um, guys, this person is going through some sort of like rebirth. They're dealing with some sort of karma, possibly. And they're very, I feel like what's throwing you off too is that this person is not really as emotional. You know what I'm saying? But they're not, you don't see them as worthy of you having to get rid of them either. You feel what I'm saying? It's something like that. You know, this these are like early stages. So this person is not quite as emotional as you would want them to. Y'all do have a very playful, fun, enjoyable connection. I just feel like when it comes down to emotions, there's fear. There's fear. I just feel like this person is making head over heart decisions right now. So it's causing you to feel... I'm not going to say that it's causing you to feel not wanted. It's just putting you in a very fucked up space because it's like, well, I've already, it feels like you've already been through this and I'm not trying to go through that again. Like, how do I know you're going to, you know what I'm saying? Once you get on your feet the right way, you're going to give me what I deserve. It's, it's shit like that. That's, I feel like it's coming up. It's very fucking draining. Child, these readings have drained. They only did you, you, Gemini, and Pisces. What? Silence. Yeah, number 36. There is a sweet embrace in the nothingness stillness brings. A presence of self fully embodied. <laughs> yeah, greet the darkness. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm praying for us. I really am, Virgo. Yeah, I know I have a Virgo rising. Key words is stillness, nothingness, and presence. It says, the world moves at such an alarming rate. Sitting inside a coffee shop, I can hear sirens, cars, construction, people talking and moving. I find myself seeking the quiet of dawn when the earth is still and muted. There is a presence in the silence. There is a space to fill it with the sound of your voice and the beat of your heart. This is the space where all of creation is free to roam wild. Stillness is the presence of nothing and the potential for everything. A witch knows she must take time to find stillness. It is within nothingness that creation is born. One must be still to hear. One must be still to receive the subtle messages left for us to find. Spirit needs your attention for a few moments to guide you on your path. If silence has paused in your spread, take this opportunity to be still. This card is a reminder to spend time each day to clear your mind. The answer to your question will come when you stop searching, allowing the solution to be, present, to be presented to you. There is no need to rush in this situation, even if you think you must. Remove your expectations of the situation you are inquiring about. Give this up to the silence, the nothingness. Spirit will take your query and answer when the time is right. Yeah, I mean, shit. Because that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to dig deep to see what this is. I really am not really getting much of anything. 
Okay, and that is because they're just, it just you just need to be still. I guess it just said that, you know. You just need to be silent so you can like um see where you need to move going. I mean, how you need to move going forward because situation is just it's clear. Like the cards are clear, yeah, but I feel like you're battling with something about what to do and something or how to maneuver or whatever you know <laughs> oh, if it ain't one thing it's a fucking other you go from one situation to the next child but that's just life to be honest <laughs> that's life third eye chakra okay 36 bottom of the deck is number 27 you look emotional balance stability harmony peace and fluidity that's your heart chakra and action intelligence let's see so um the car meaning of the third eye chakra oh it says Spiritual awareness, seeing, insight, visualization, intuition, psychic powers, vision, clairvoyance, and imagination. It says our third eye is located between our eyebrows and is the energy center of our intuition, imagination, visualization, and higher vision. Many believe that this chakra is the seat of the soul. While our throat chakra operates in the frequency of sound, our third eye's vibration is that of our inner sound and of light. Divine sound and divine light. As we open to the perspective powers of our third eye, we open to we open to seeing and experiencing our world in a more holistic and expansive way. We are not bound by the physical limitation of what our current circumstances look like on the surface. Yeah, something on the surface is, is throwing you off. But I feel like this, that's why I said this is more spiritual because your faith is being tested. It's something about your faith in this situation. Okay. And I know it's kind of frustrating because it's like, it's confusing because you're like, well, if I'm not, I thought you said spirit, if I'm not getting what I deserve emotionally out of a situation, I should cut it off. But not really everything you should cut off. Okay. Some shit is definitely worth the, worth, worth the fight. Not fighting in like a way where you're just being disrespected, abused, or somebody's purposely doing something. I'm not talking about that. <clears throat> I feel like Archangel Michael here, their spirit is protecting you too. You and this person, because y'all are counterparts. Something major is happening. The justice, the judgment, the tower, the king of swords, and the moon. It's a lot going on behind the scenes, spiritually, like I said. But it says, with Anja, we see all possibilities. Or is it Anya? Is the J silent? We see the oak tree within the acorn and we feel empowered to move from a place of clear vision and tru truth within. Just as we must calm the waters of a pool in order to see beyond the surface, we must learn to calm our mind in order to ac access the deeper levels of ourselves and the world with clarity. This card is an invitation to spend some time in meditation and relaxation. Take time to become still so that you are centered and receptive, allowing awareness of subtle energies and wisdom in your third eye. From this space, you are able to see into and beyond this moment, into the highest path for your soul. If you are uncertain which way to go or which path to follow, take time to open yourself to the gift of the inner vision of your third eye chakra. Pay attention to your dreams. Acknowledge what you sense in meditation. Note intuitive feelings. Yeah, journal it. Write diary, keeping notes. Um... No intuitive feelings, read, reflect, daydream, ponder on your being. Take action based on the guidance and intuition that comes to you from your sixth sense. The essence of this card to accept yourself as an intuitive spiritual being and to expand your sense of seeing. Within the grace of your divine view, there are no questions or doubts, only calm, clarity, and infinite possibility. It is now time to embrace your divine life journey, allowing your inner light to guide your way. So your affirmations, it says, I open myself to my intuition and inner wisdom. I expand my view of the possible and I trust and follow my inner guidance. <clears throat> so. 
So it says, so your third eye chakra could be out of balance right now for some of you. It says if it's out of balance, it says focusing only on intellect and science. Seeing superficial meaning, but afraid to look deeper. Rejection of intuition. Unimaginative nightmares. Confused and muddled thinking. Delusions and hallucinations. Disorders in the physical organs governed by the chakra, such as problems with vision or sinuses. Frequent confusion or misunderstandings. Overly rational and mathematical about everything. Being judgmental and able to think for yourself. Out of touch with reality. Unable to differentiate between illusions and reality. Being overly fearful or anxious, ego focused, frequent negative perceptions of people and situations, rigid thinking patterns, prejudice towards people and situations. Hmm. For your food, you need fresh indigo, purple foods such as beetroot, blueberries, and cabbage, fish, and nuts. Colors are indigo and white. How to tend to the chakra, being imaginative or daydreaming, meditation, write down dreams, enjoy natural light outdoors, indulge your sight, let your eyes feast on interesting and inspiring things to look at. Anybody in, any body and mind centering exercise and reading and expanding knowledge and intellect. Yeah, okay. So, I mean... Yeah, so somebody's third eye is out of balance. It could be this person's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Virgo, you got to let me know in the comments. Or it could be this other person in your fucking energy. But I feel like it's a little bit of you too, to be honest. nutmeg justice travel and good fortune ginger manifesting personal power and retribution oh that shit just made me want some yams i really want me some damn um candy yam candy yams <laughs> okay 37 so it says, good vibes are here. And I'm not just saying that because I, I just had a pumpkin spice latte where nutmeg is a key ingredient, but because nutmeg is one lucky nut, well, seed. <laughs> nutmeg has always been associated with good fortune, especially while traveling. Whether you're taking a trip or an emotional and spiritual journey, it's time to get moving. If you're looking for justice or a karmic return, one is coming on the horizon, though you may have to meet it halfway to achieve it. Yeah, I feel like it is. Uh, like it's, the keywords are attraction, prosperity, journey, luck, improved memory, and movement. We got justice here. We do have travel, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Justice, yeah, justice is here. Justice with justice card with the judgment, King of Swords. I feel like that's an archangel, the Tower and the Moon. There's some good fortune here. I just feel, yeah, we do have the Wheel of Fortune upright. You just got to work with this energy right now. It's kind of difficult, I feel, a little bit for you, but it's, you got to work with it. I don't know what else to say about it. Only you know what this is. So, this is your reading. <laughs> Let me know how this resonated, okay? Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Oh, excuse me, Virgo. I had to stretch. Turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.